So I've spent a good portion of this year learning about AI and understanding the various different machine learning techniques. You know, stuff like what tools are used, how they work, and overall just trying to hold my skill set in the realm of AI and machine learning. With that, I've taken various different courses and certifications on YouTube, Coursera, Udemy, etc. And uh, just recently, I came across Andrew Ng's deep learning specialization on Coursera. First off, the reason this course is worth reviewing is because it's taught by Andrew Ng. To those of you who don't know who Andrew Ng is, he's one of the father figures of machine learning and AI in the 21st century. To sum it up, he's done some amazing stuff with machine learning and uh, teaches a very popular and in-demand course at Stanford University about machine learning and statistics. As usual, when reviewing this course, I'll be talking about three main things and to save you some time, I'll give you my main thoughts right away. First off, let's talk about the comprehension of the main topics. I would say most of the topics covered were very detailed and relevant. However, since machine learning and AI is such a dense and broad field, it's almost impossible to dive into every single subsection or specialization in just one course. All right, the next thing I want to cover is will the certification lend you a job? That's one of the most frequent questions I get when reviewing certifications. If you don't have any other credentials such as a bachelor's or master's degree in computer science or something similar, uh, boot camps, projects, or any other work experience, this certification alone is most likely not going to lend you a job. However, if you do have some relevant experience in the field of data, maybe you have a bachelor's degree in tech, uh, you could definitely use the certification and those credentials to help you pivot into a more AI or machine learning uh, reliant role. And overall, of course, you want to understand if this certification is going to be worth for you. Well, if you're someone who has the money to burn, want to learn from a proficient and detailed professor, and also want to do it all in a short period of time, I definitely recommend going through and pursuing this course. On the other hand, if you don't have the money to burn or want to take more time to dive into and understand the content material, there definitely are many other resources out there. I'll recommend some at the end of the video. All right, so hopefully that helped you decide if you want to pursue this course or not, but if you don't have enough information or need more time, stick around and watch the rest of the video. The course is set to take about three months at a pace of 10 hours a week, but many people have completed it in a shorter period. Me personally, I would say that the course could take up to a month to complete if you are diligent and consistent. I want to preface and emphasize that this course is not a beginner level course. If you feel like you're a beginner or don't have enough experience with machine learning or programming, I recommend checking out Andrew Ng's other course that is the machine learning specialization. That course should give you a basic level understanding in terms of differential equations, linear algebra, programming, statistics, and many other concepts that's needed to enter the field of machine learning. All that is important because this deep learning specialization focuses on neural networks, which can be viewed as a black box. As data scientists and machine learning engineers, we want to dissect as much information as we can from these models, so understanding the math and logic behind them is crucial. Now this course is taught in five separate subcourses and each subcourse has their own main focus and certification. I personally would suggest taking all these subcourses even if you have a strong foundation in machine learning or deep learning. I personally found value in all the projects that come along. I like hands-on learning and application learning. So I think doing those hands-on labs and projects definitely help when uh, reinforcing what you learned. And like I said before, each subcourse comes with their own uh, certification which you can attach to your LinkedIn profile for additional academic validation. I'm not gonna go into too much depth when it comes to the coverage of each of these courses because uh, this video would then be 30 minutes long. Uh, but I will say the instructors did a very good job when it comes to covering uh, complex topics in machine learning such as CNNs, RNNs, uh, architectural uh, modeling and machine learning and other things. I highly recommend skimming through the course documentations if you want to understand the learning outcomes in more detail. Like I said before though, overall the biggest value I gained from this course is the projects. Personally, I'm a very hands-on learner so I learn better while doing or through application. At the time, I was also working on an ML project for work and the hyperparameter tuning model helped me out a lot. Obviously, your goals and desired learning outcomes could be different, but I would say if those goals are in the realm of wanting to dive deep into machine learning, understanding when to use a specific machine learning model and why, uh, Andrew Ng's courses definitely do the job. Again, I want to emphasize that this is a paid course, but to those of you who can't afford it, Coursera does offer various different scholarships, so I'll leave some links down below if you guys want to check those out. An alternative free resource I recommend checking out is Andre Kapardi's uh, Neural Network Playlist on YouTube. It's an extremely good resource when it comes to learning about neural networks, how they work, and even how to build one. However, it is not as structured and does not provide as much support as the paid Coursera course does, so keep that in mind. At the time of this recording, the Coursera Plus plan is about $59 a month. I'll leave my referral link down below if you guys want to check it out and support the channel. To those of you who have taken this course or are interested in taking this course, I would love to hear from you in the comment section down below. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave them down below too. As always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.